This is just clean water. I'm wetting the whole paper with. Just so I can get it nice. So I don't get sharp edges in the sky basically. What with the clouds and whatnot. This is raw sienna. Very loosely put on. Now I'm going into ultramarine. Ultramarine. I'm using a large, large height brush. I'm just going to. This is just where you can see the. Uh, Where well, you can see the s sky be around the clouds. Uh, I'll just put a bit of cloud in there. So I'm going lizard and crimson, Payne's grey. And just Now for the mountains in the background. So I'm going back into the ultramarine. Basically the same sky colours. Plenty of blue. And then the mountains are something like, like so. Now I'm going into the lemon yellow. This is where the land comes forward a little more. And as it comes forward more still, I'm going raw sienna. Just a touch of light red, not too much because it's very strong. And very quickly into the ultramarine and then I'm just going to sweep that across there like so. and we've got a bit more lemon yellow and we're coming down from the right hand side the ultramarine mix it up a bit just keep varying the colour keep it interesting coming down I want to get it a bit dark there because I'm going to put a fence in and I want to scratch it out with my finger. Lemon yellow as that sort of continues round there. Ultramarine. I'm just going to the paper after it's uh, stretched slightly after you put that water on it. So we've got a flat surface to work with. Right, now while that's drying I'm just going to scratch in some fence posts there. for those. A bit more lemon yellow, continue that down a bit. Burnt umber, ultramarine. Right now, there's a bit more Bit of darker grass now on this on this side. 
as we come further forward. I'm just going to go darker still, burnt umber, ultramarine. Damp. I'm just going to scrape in a few rocks. Making them bigger as they come further forward. That's the right hand side. Clean brush. That the left hand side rather. Now on this right hand side we've got a bit more grass, I'm going raw sienna, lemon yellow, and the stream sort of coming from that side, and then it sort of swoops, swoops around like that, ultramarine, a bit too much blue, raw sienna, just constantly trying to vary it and then where the pebbles are I'll, I'll always make it a bit darker burnt umber ultramarine for that grey pebbly look again into the plastic card, scrape out a few more rocks I'm just going to pull that tight in I'm going to put the water in there. So, predominantly blue. Uh, again, reflection of the sky colour, so it's a bit of a lizard in touch of Payne's grey, but plenty of blue. And then just very quick strokes. Leaving plenty of white paper to create that sort of surf. That's all it needs for that. That's all the water needs. Now then, I'm just going to stick a few. Few buildings, so I'm going back sweep three quarter inch flat, damp, fairly damp. And I'm just going to pick a dark area so it can so it contrasts better. And then little roof. I need a tissue just to take it out with, take the paint off with. So that's the roof, and then just. Comes down slightly. Re wet it, dry most of it off, and uh, we'll have a, another one up there, bigger one this time, bigger roof. Gonna make sure that bone's dry. I'm gonna 
Let's set the number three rigger. And then just get a darkish mix on there. Burnt umber, ultramarine. some little windows just makes it look even more like a little little cottage or whatever over there in the distance so all that's left all I'm going to do now I think back to the rigger again darkish mix burnt umber ultramarine I'm just going to put some little birds I think I'll call that one done Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon